Hi guys, it's Annie from Eclipse All Sports. I'm just wanting to bring you a quick video review. Uh, today we're going to do our top five budget bats. So all the bats in this video are under £120, so really good value for money and really good cricket bats, guys. So we'll start off with number five in our top five. And to be honest with you, any one of these bats could have probably finished in the top two or three places. It's, it's been very difficult to put them in order. And if I was to go through the bats again tomorrow, I might change my mind. That's how close it is between these bats. Um, so we're going to start off with this lovely SS Vintage 5.0 cricket bat. It's got these lovely purple stickers. This one's not got many grains. You've got one, two, three, four grains. And you've got this butterfly stain here. And you've got the butterfly stain going through the back of the bat. You've got some nice laser engraving. And you've got the ton laser engraved there and you've got the S laser engraved further up as well. A semi oval handle, nice bow down towards the toe, slightly rounded toe. This is the Dhoni profile shape and this bat is coming in at £2.8.8 .8 ounce so it's a nice lightweight especially for a butterfly willow bat as a butterfly stain tends to be a little bit denser making the bats a little bit heavier but this one He's coming out nice and light and the specs are around 37mm edge, 62mm spine and decent thickness around 22mm on the toe as well. So it's a good size bat for the weight. Balance wise, it's got a low middle so it's not going to pick up really light. Uh, but for me it probably feels about 2.8.5 so a little bit lighter than the dead weight. And we'll just see how it taps up with the ball. So the response is very good, very responsive. It doesn't feel too firm, it feels nice and springy straight out of the packet. So that's up high, just below the SS sticker there. It's going well there. In the middle, it goes really nice in the middle. And then down towards the toe, still very responsive down low. As you've got that chunky toe and that lower middle position. So yeah, that's in at number five. Very good bat, 119.99. So you'll get free UK mainline delivery on this one and you also get a free back cover with all of these cricket bats. So next up, we've got this lovely Abyss 50 cricket bat. Um, you've got a fibre sheet on this one all the way up to there on the stickers. Um, grains wise on this one, you've got a fair few grains but it's going to be difficult to count them up. So we'll try and count them up through the toe. You've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight grains count through the toe there nice and straight and even nice thickness on the toe as well you're looking at around a 22 millimeter toe uh, 37 38 millimeter edge 62 millimeter spine slightly flatter at the bottom um, not quite round and then tapers to round at the top nice boat down towards the toe very full shape and yeah it's a nice looking bat there's not too many blemishes there's a few little speckles in the grains the grains look quite even there and then you've got this um, staining, it could be a watermark. I'm not sure if it's heartwood, it looks more like a, a watermark. Um, but yeah, lovely grains through the toe and it's weighing in at 28.9 ounce. Taking into account the battery wrapper as well and the fibre sheet which is up to around about here. So the fibre sheet is probably adding about 0.4 of an ounce and then the factory wrapper about 0.1 of an ounce. So this is probably around about 2.8 so yeah, it feels like a two eight in the hands. It picks up well. It's nicely balanced. It comes through the shots really well. And we'll just see how it taps up. So again, really responsive. You can see how springy the bat is straight out of the packet. Really good picking. Up high, it goes pretty well up high. Just below the sticker there, it's still pretty good there. In the middle, yeah, it's flying guys. So that's in at number four. So we'll move on now to number three. So in at number three is our biggest bat and it is our heaviest bat at 210.4 ounce. Uh, grains wise, you've got one, two, three, four, five grains. And you have got a butterfly stain here on this edge, which is the left hander's uh, outside edge or the right hander's inside edge. And then you've got the stain going through the back of the bat as well, all the way down the back of the bat. Um, what you have got on this bat is a 41mm edge, a 64mm spine and a 24mm toe. Spine up into the handle, slightly flatter at the bottom, round towards the top. 
a nice boat down towards the toe you can just see how chunky that profile is and if you have a look there it's very full very little wood taken out and you can see the grains are perfect through the toe nice and straight and even and it's a very big toe so yeah it's a lovely big bat and yeah just look at the profile shape on that it's monstrous and we'll go on to the balance and pick up so 210.4 and for me this feels like a 29 29 and a half picks up really well feels nice and light in the hands and performance wise we'll just see how it goes so you have got a slightly firmer feel than some of the other bats because of that butterfly stain but the rebound and the power in the bat is fantastic really nice and responsive and like I say it could easily have featured number one and if I was to do it again tomorrow maybe it would feature number one but it's in at number three today and uh, that is the Intense Ferocity and that's $119.99 free UK mainland delivery and a free DSC back cover so in at number two and yep it's another DSC cricket bat this is the black five and this one has got a nice big butterfly stain again so butterfly willow is very popular at Eclipse at the minute and um, grains wise count through the toe you got one two three four five six grains on this one I think there's a seventh one there but I'm not sure that's running through the face I think it just goes off onto the edge so we'll say six grains nice big butterfly stain and you got that nice big butterfly stain on the back and what's very impressive about this one this one's weighing at 28.4 ounce and again you've got that fiber sheet all the way up to here which adds about 0.4 of an ounce so this is around about 28 maybe 27.9 um, decent specs as well 38 mil edge 62 mil spine 21 mil toe uh, slightly flatter at the bottom on the handle so maybe a slight semi oval and taping to a round very full in shape, nice bow down towards the toe. So this is the lightest one in our top five. And it picks up really nice. Probably feels maybe two seven and a half, two eight. So yeah, it picks up well. And we'll just see how it responds. So what's impressive about this one is, even though it's got a massive butterfly stain, it's light you don't get that really firm feel you get that nice springy responsive feel so what's really impressive about this cricket bat it doesn't have those normal characteristics you get with a butterfly willow where you get the firmer feel and you get heavier bat normally when you've got a big stain like this uh, this is coming out really nice and light and it's really responsive and the performance is fantastic and that's why it's featured at number two again it could quite easily have featured at number one um, but yeah we'll see what number one is now um, so this one is 99.99 free back cover um, so yeah really good value for money option this and finally in at number one you've got this lovely pink and white DSC Mushvika Rahim 100 cricket bat um, so grains wise you've got one two three four five so five grains and you've got a bit of graping right across the face there um, so for everyone who thinks you need to get a bat with loads and loads of grains to get a good performing bat that's not the case uh, these bats in this top five perform as good as any top end bat um, you're just not getting bats that look really nice in terms of the grain structure um, but yeah you're still getting very good performing bats so you've got 40mm edge uh, 63mm spine 24mm toe spine up into the handle so this one is a thinner handle a round a little bit flatter at the bottom but predominantly round and a nice bow down towards the toe this one's coming at 210.1 nice and full um, again face wise you've got rounded face rounded edges and a fairly flat toe Grains are not too bad through the toe, and you can see how thick that toe is. Um, so we'll just give it. So we'll just see how this bat picks up. So two ten point one with a thin handle and a very thick toe. For me, it probably feels close to its weight, maybe two nine and a half, two ten. So maybe a little bit lighter than dead weight, uh, but it certainly doesn't pick up much lighter than dead weight. 
Um, I reckon if you add a second grip, I think it'll feel a lot nicer in the hands. And we'll just see how it taps up. So this one pings really well. The pressing on it is very good, very responsive. And because you've got that extra power, £2.10, you've got a little bit more weight um, than the Black 5 and you've just got a little bit more punch and that's probably why it's just crept into the number one spot over the Black 5 bat. But if you're looking for a light, powerful bat, then the Black 5 is the one to go for. Really good bat. Uh, but if you like a 2.9, 2.10, then I would go for either the MR100 or the Ferocity bat. Both of those are fantastic. So yeah, there's something for everyone in this top five, guys. And price-wise, you're getting really good value for money. So yeah. Excellent bat guys, 119 uh, free bat cover, free UK mainland delivery and that is the MR100 featuring number one in our top five uh, for the month of October. So I hope you've enjoyed the video review, if you have please give us a thumbs up and a like and if you've not subscribed to our YouTube channel then please do so and I look forward to bringing you plenty more video reviews. So until next time I'll speak to you all soon, bye bye.